nine-year-old Jack Leihold, right, Steve? Nine-year-old. You know what? If the third-grade teachers across the world are producing kids as good as Jack, we're okay. <laughs> we can retire. We're going to be just there fine. You go. They'll take on the whole world. So absolutely. All right. So Jack, um, would you tell Mark kind of what your thought was behind this whole thing? Because you did this as a science fair project, right? Mm-hmm. So how did you think about it? Well, I just thought it would be a good experiment for my science fair project and I was really curious what would happen. If it's all I about did it. which helmet is the best helmet, right? Yeah. I know parents are just frantic about this because I know we get a lot of that question, you know, what should I buy? So Yeah. And he invited me to wear the test helmet and then crash, but I thought that, that would probably <laughs> be Yeah. So yeah. so you used melons instead, is that right? Yeah. All right, should we show them kind of the behind the scenes testing a little bit? Yeah. Take a look at, let's roll our secret video and show them our testing facility. Take a look at our video and watch All this. right, well, here we are at the world famous melon testing facility. All right, we're just at a parking lot, but this is Jack Leibold right up here. All right, are you ready, Jack? Yep. Do you have the test victim? All right, here it is. Here is the, do you have a name for the melon? No. You don't name the melon? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, drop. Oh, this is so good. I think that I think that there's a small problem. All right, I'll, I'll get it cleaned up. All right, here's round two. All right, but this time he's gonna put the helmet on. All right, protecting the melon. Are right, you ready? All right, still no name. Nope. No name. Okay, you better move over a little bit so we don't smash that poor guy. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. is what we'll show you here in just a second. So, right. Jack, you did that with a whole bunch of melons, and we're gonna show them that one in a second, but kind of show us what you did here. So let's sh tell them the kind of helmet and then show them what happened um, when we dropped it, okay? It is a football helmet, and I dropped it, and it has this. Not okay. good results. This is not good for a person, but this is not really, you said a full contact helmet. This yeah, is more of a decoration. it's not really meant for contact. Okay, really. well, I think that this proved it, all right? Yes. And then what is this one? Um, this is a skateboard helmet, okay. and I dropped it, and I right. got this. Oh, for heaven's sake. Wow. That's kind so of scary. Now, you just put it in here and dropped it this way, right? So when it yeah. hit, they all hit like this, mm -hmm. and then this is kind of what happened to the melon. You tried to make sure that all the melons were about the same size, and, yeah. and you bought them at the same time. All right, should we show them the one that you actually dropped in our office, all right? Yeah. So show them this one. Let's take this guy out here. What kind of helmet is this? Um, this is a ski helmet. And it really fit well inside that. That's oh, another thing that, that we have to show. Okay, turn that one and show. And then we have another Even crack. the good helmet oh, that was here. Gosh. All right? All right, so let's take a look at this last one over here. That I'll, I'll kind of move it over. And show them what this helmet is. Um, this is a bike helmet, and we dropped it, and the helmet just got destroyed. Boy, it right? did, didn't so. it? Which is but, part, of, part of the way it's supposed to work. Yes, right? but yeah. look at this. Can I show them this? Yeah. It has look. no cracks oh. at all. No cracks at all. Well, that's, that gives you some comfort. So what did you learn with this one? What was the secret or the science behind this one? Um, I think the fit of the helmet makes a big difference. Right. And the other thing I think that we were talking about is that this took the impact. This did exactly what it's supposed to do. It cracked instead oh, of your head cracking sure. or in the right. melon cracking. This took the impact. So even a couple hits there, but it's, you know, we, you're involved in some sort of accident or whatever. This did its job, and now, of course, you'd get rid of it and do a new one. But I thought that was an amazing. And you know what I'm most impressed about, Jack, is the fact that you had a scientific test for every one of those, and you gave us all the information. We're going to put it up on the website so you can see the whole experiment for a science project. Mm -hmm. A plus, blue uh, ribbon, buddy, whatever Steve it might Spangler. be. Or nine oh years old. Gosh. That is an excellent experiment and it will cause a lot of people to rethink their helmets. I know I'm rethinking my skin. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell you what.